At least 10,000 people have been killed in the, the eight-month-long conflict. But that might not be the worst news for the nation's residents. The UN says the country is also facing a potential famine that could affect millions of people. The World Body says 50,000 children faced death this year because of hunger and malnutrition. For more on that situation, we are joined by Africa 54 health correspondent Lino Mudu. Hello, Lino. Hello, Vincent. Hello, everyone. A surge in the number of malnourished children in South Sudan is fueling fears that the world's newest nation is on the brink of famine. Aid workers say food stocks are running low across conflict-ravaged northern regions of the country, and the onset of the rainy season has dashed hopes that South Sudan's displaced <laughs> subsistence farmers will plant enough crops to feed themselves. 1.1 million people are internally displaced and more than 400,000 have fled the country due to the ongoing violence leading to the severe disruption of food production. UN officials say more than a third of the nation's roughly 11 million people could be on the brink of starvation by the end of the year. We have to address the, what is becoming a nutritional catastrophe uh, and it is now a nutritional disaster for so many children. We need to, and that means addressing it when they are in a severe state, but it also means, which UNICEF works on, but it also means working on it uh, in a slightly earlier stage while it is still moderate. We have to bring in more health supplies. We have to somehow get kids back into school. Uh, we have to uh, find, help find shelter for them, protection for children. This is happening off camera. The world is simply not paying attention enough to South Sudan and the people like this who are stuck. Aid agencies say South Sudan could be headed for the worst famine since the 1984 Ethiopian famine.